hi everyone welcome to my channel i hope you guys are doing great today i have a project share and this is my final valentine project share yay i'm so excited i think this is now project number six i believe so project number six so i actually did more than uh the five projects I was expecting to do. But anyways, um, I have never worked so fast. <laughs> I can't believe that I made all these projects in under a month. But yeah, so anyways, um, this is the paper that, that I used. Um, I actually used a 12 by 12 paper, uh, paper kit from Echo Park. This is the Cupid and Company. And I had so much fun creating this, using this, uh, this uh, kit. So let me go ahead and share with you what I made. Um, I made a Galantine binder mail. So this is actually for Luisa and she is my crafty boutique here on YouTube. Um, I have mentioned in, I have mentioned in one of the lives that I wanted to do a Galantine, um, binder mail because I haven't done binder mail in a very long time and I really love, enjoy making those. And so yeah, Luisa, signed up <laughs> so um so yeah let me go ahead and share with you my binder mail oh my gosh i love it i love it it came out so cute okay i'm beginning to sound like um tamika almost with that so cute <laughs> well anyways okay so this is how um it came out i love it i truly love how this came out i had so much fun doing this um putting this together so what i did was okay this binder it's red and it was gifted to me. Oh my goodness. I think I won it like when I first started YouTube. Um, I believe her name was Marcia Flett Golden. I'm not sure if she still does YouTube videos, but um, I can't believe I remember this. <laughs> but yeah, she gave me a kit. Like um, I think it was like a mini album kit, and this was in it. So um, so yeah, anyways, um, what I did is I grabbed a I cut this down. Um, I don't remember the dimensions of this binder, to be honest, and I don't have my ruler with me, but it's one of those small binders, like the size of the Dollar Tree ones, of the mini ones. So um, I measured it. I cut down the papers, you know, taking in consideration that I wanted to put an outline, so um, mat it with gold underneath. So that's what I did. Um, so what I did was first I cut down my paper, then um, I used this mesh, and I think it's uh, red in color, yeah. It's red in color. It looks like this, you know, um, so I picked up, I actually picked up the red one. My daughter did me the favor and picked up the pink one, the red one, and the fuchsia. So thank you so much. So, um, so yeah, so I used that and then I sewed it with gold thread um, all the way around. And I, before finishing sewing the top or the bottom, I don't know where I finished it, but um, I added my sequence mix. So in here I have dew drops that I had picked up from... Tuesday morning it was a little tin and then um so I have the dew drops in here I have my little sequence mix I think there is um some word sentiments also sequence sequence word sentiments but they're kind of hiding um it's I think okay there's one that I see here that says xoxo and then and stuff like that so yeah it came out really really cute and then I glued my gold cardstock underneath and to glue it onto the um, I usually glue, use Fabri-Tac to glue it, but I guess I was informed that it kind of peels, so um, it lifts up. So what I did was I actually used my double-sided tape, the one from Elizabeth Crafts Designs. That double-sided tape is very, um, very sticky, like really, really sticky. So, I mean, I this, this was my first project that I did um in the beginning of the month and we're already well on the 26th and it's still stuck on there so um so yeah so i that's what i used and then um i wanted to just make a design here like you know embellish it um so i've had these michael's frames and this is a floral design a rose design in my stash for a very long time so i decided to use the frame and then i use one of the ephemera pieces from the collection it says love sweet love and I added um, a little bow for my for my stash as well. And then I went back and I used my gold pen, my um, this one, this deco color. And I just lightly went, you know, on the petals, on the top of the petals, just to give it more interest. 
I, th I felt like it needed something. I wanted the flowers to pop. And then here is a, a rose that I made or a flower that I created with ribbon. And um, it's white with little hearts, glitter hearts on it. And this one was from Dollar Tree that I had in my stash as well. And then um, these are Michael's flowers. I had two packs of the same flowers because in each pack there's only one of each flower. So um, I wanted both sides, you know, to be equal. That's just, I mean, that's just the way I am. So I like everything matchy matchy. So, and then um, I went ahead and I removed the centers from it because it was a big ball. So I put pearls there. And then here I put one of my little uh, blings um, inside. And then here I used trim from my stash. I need to pick up more. I think I got this from Ally Express, this pink one. And then I added this uh, red one. I layered it with red, and this is from, the red one is from Hobby Lobby, and then this, uh, it's pearl with bling, in the, it's got bling in the center of the hearts, really pretty, I also picked that up from AliExpress a while back, then here, I decided to do what many girls do, I don't know if you can see it, there you go, um, I did um, the, how do you call this, the, the um, pleated paper, so I pleated the paper, then I covered it with two layers of a pink mesh, and then I put uh, the tiny, small red rosette on top, added the thickers, um, that spelled out Luisa's name, and then I sewed it in the center. The U, <laughs> I was having such a hard time sewing uh, with gold thread. I was trying to sew it with gold thread, but my gold thread kept breaking. So um, then I just sewed it with pink thread, and that worked fine. For some reason, gold thread breaks with when you sew through chipboard. And um, so, yeah, so my U kind of uh, cracked in half. So it's um, I use glue to, hold, you know, to keep it down. And I have to glue some parts as well. But, yeah, I love how that looks. And then here's the back. I still need to sign it on the back. Um, did the same thing. Really pretty. I put the outline of the gold. And then um, here is the inside. <clears throat> I'll get to the charm later. But um, so when you open it up, you open it up like that. It is so cute. I love it. I love it. So I used this um, trim from Hobby Lobby. It's the ruffle trim. And I folded it in half and added to the edge of the binder. And then I added this pink um, gimp type of trim as well uh, from Hobby Lobby. And I created pockets because this uh, binder did not have any pockets. So I created pockets and I did it in a slant. So here I have some games. A couple of game pieces that I purchased off of Etsy. I will link it down below in the description box. Um, it is an affiliate link. So if you make a purchase, you know, I will earn a, a little bit of a commission. Uh, but it's the, if the price still remains the same whether or not you make the purchase. But I just need to uh, just, just uh, put that disclaimer out there. So these are really, really cute. It's Valentine's Day. It comes with a lot of games, but I decided just to print out these two. So there's a word search, and then here are the words, and she could just go ahead and search them. And then here says Valentine's Day word scramble. So she has to figure out, you know, what this these spell out. Words. It's rather very easy. So, um, and then here I attached one of my, um, my little sentiments. So, you know, uh, if you guys have seen my embellishments that I've made, I show, showed some sentiments I had created a while back. So I went ahead and um, print out uh, some sentiments. And I actually added five more words to, um, to my list. So also, and all these sentiments are the same. Like, uh, these are one, all a set of sentiments, and then this repeats, repeats, repeats. So it repeats the first column. So the... Five that I have added, I added uh, February 14th. I didn't have that in my other my other sentiments that I had printed out a while back. Love bug, smooch, la la love, and cutie. So I added those five sentiments in here for her. And um, so, yeah. And if you guys want a list, if you guys uh, want me to send you a copy of these sentiments, just email me. I have my email in my about page. Um, on my channel so just click on it and you could go ahead and email me and I'll go ahead and um, I'll send you um, an attachment of these uh, sentiments uh, for you to use on your embellishments so all right and then um, here is 
trim again, the same trim from Hobby Lobby. This gold trim is from Hobby Lobby. Added a ribbon, added a little bling. This die cut is from Michaels from my stash a while back. This um, die cut I created on my silhouette machine. Um, I have a video on that already. And then here um, I had all these pink vellum, pe uh, vellum pages um, from Amazon. I will link that down below. And I created um, a shaker with it. And the shaker is divided. So here's one box and then here's the other box. And I sold it with, um, with gold thread. And then I added one of my La La Land, um, I think it's La La Land um, banners. I love this banner. And then, um, so I did two, two die cuts, uh, a pink one and a gold one. And I layered them, offset it a little bit so part of the gold can show. And then I added the gold hearts on top, my two bowls from my stash. And then this right here is actually a, um, a die. Uh, I think it is a Birch Press Designs die, um, and it comes with three layering dies. So I use the first layer, which I believe is layer A. Let me see. I need to show it. So it's a yeah, it's a Birch Press Design dies, and these are the three dies, and they're all layers. So you layer um, this one. So there's one layer, and then I think two, and then three. Um, uh, I believe not sure, or it goes the other way around. I don't know. Um, I was um, inspired by Anna. She has made some beautiful cards using these three dies together combined. So um, I was inspired to pick this die up. So I used layer A uh, on this right here. And then on top I used a, a farmer piece and then some flowers for my stash. These are recollection flowers. This was from the dollar bin and this is from the recollections that you could find in their flower section. So yeah, it came out so cute. I love it. I love how it came out. And then, um, so here you can see more of the shaker pieces. And then here's my first page. And here are my die cuts from, from my silhouette machine. These are photo props. So I've had this in my stash for a while. So I, I use them to decorate it here. I love the XOXO and the little cherub. Here I added a little puffy gold sticker. I think these are from American Crafts. And then here's my first set of embellishments, with that, which I've already shared on my uh, the, uh, my channel. I will link this video down below in the description box. Um, so here's some bag toppers. And then um, I, I felt like uh, I didn't want to add the embellishments onto the page by itself. I decided to make it more pretty, more presentable. And that's why I added, I made bag toppers. And this actually comes out very easily. Um, I use repositionable um, glue dots. So here's a little glue dot right there. And so I use repositional glue dots for this. So if she wants to um, add photos of her and her hubby here, you know, make it into a mini album, she's welcome to do that because I believe she, she does. I don't believe. I know. She bought the same kit. So um, at least she has the same kit in digital form so she could, you know, make it into a mini album. So, um, the, and also she could reuse these um, bags. Um, the embellishments are also, you I to attach the embellishments into the background, I use also repositionable glue dots. So I did that to all of the pages. Go ahead and put that there. So yeah, so she could reuse the bag. The only thing that I could not do the repositionable tape or the glue dots was on the, on the bag toppers. It kept coming off, so I just had to use double-sided tape for that. So here's another page that I decorated. Um, I use a, a cutout from the collection. Um, it says, Hello Sweet Stuff. I added some puffy stickers, some enamel stickers right here. Um, I used doilies from my stash, and these were purchased from Michaels a while back. And then I also added one of these little, the mesh behind it. Um, and yeah, and then I out, I matted the, the die cut, the cutout. I matted it with gold paper and then flowers from Recollect, Recollection Flowers. This had a different center. I pulled it out and I used a red pearl instead. And then here's my other set of embellishments. Again, I shared these. So all of the embellishments you see here um, on these pages attached to the pages, I already shared them on my channel. And like I said, they're all in the same video. So I'll link that video down below. And same thing, everything is repositionable. 
So yeah, so that's my second set of embellishments. And then I did this page. I was totally inspired by Eileen, who is Eileen Payne here on YouTube. Hey, girlfriend. She had done a December daily, and she did this on her Cricut, where she created, um, I think, the word December. And also, she created stars to put photos in. So I thought that was an amazing idea, and I wanted to add some interest into the binder. So um, I did XOXO, because <laughs> that happens to be the theme, you know, X hugs and kisses for this um, Galatine's uh, mail. So what I did is I created this on my silhouette. I had to um, merge my, you know, put my letters closer together. And then, um, so yeah, so, and then I created a little, a long box here. As a, I used to do my own planner inserts long ago. So I remembered that this is how I used to do it. So I, half an inch. I will give this half, this is a half an inch to uh, to give it room to punch out so I'm able to fit it into my binder. So this is half an inch and then this from the rest is five inches because the pages are five and a half by eight and, um, they're five and a half by eight and a half. So, so yeah. And so yeah, so I just love how that looks. I did some sewing. So when Luisa, I mean, you can't see it on camera. Maybe you can see it on camera or maybe well, if you're watching from TV, you'll be able to notice. But, um, yeah, my, my O's came out really wonky. It's like, oh, my gosh, I had such a hard time <laughs> sewing my O's. So I kind of missed a few spaces. So sorry, Luisa, but you know what? It's handmade, and it was handmade with love, okay? <laughs> but my X's came out excellent. Um, but, yeah, the O's came out wonky. And I, but, you know, practice makes perfect. So I've never sewn on paper like this, you know, doing it this way. So it was, a, it was a, a struggle, and it was a mission. So um, then here's the back, you know, so I'll be able to see it. Um, and then here's my next page. I like, I love this page. It's so pretty. So I put XOXO, y'all. It's another cutout from the collection. I put a couple of epoxy stickers there. Um, again, I used my doilies. And then this is a sticker from Hobby Lobby. She's so beautiful. Look at her. And then here is um, some uh small rosette tr uh, trim and it has little white polka dots in red so I put that there because I felt like this uh, it needed something here it would look so plain so I thought hey you know let me add a sticker so that's from Hobby Lobby and it's their Valentine's um, collection and then here's my other set of uh, embellishments which I shared before already really pretty and then here's my other page again I use doilies I love I love matching the ephemera to the pages and I love when I'm using my ephemera, I like to use doilies uh, just to break it up so it doesn't look so busy. So here are the doilies. This is trim from Target Dollar Spot from a few years back. Um, I also matted this ephemera piece with gold, gold uh, cardstock, glitter cardstock. And then I used the background of another sheet and I just, you know, break it up, make it pink since it is pink here. So I love how that looks. And then this is my actually my last page. And then here is my other set of embellishments. So I am gifting her um, all of my um, words, sentiments that I created from my select machine. So here's hugs, cutie, XOXO. And then the back, it has the rest of them. And then I did like, um, I did a waterfall type of uh Uh, packaging yeah so yeah and then here is the back of the page that so, you know I made another pocket for the back and then so here um, this was inspired by Bona she used one of those Target dollar spots um, pockets uh, this is the original one when they first came out with these pockets it's really small because the ones they have now is actually bigger but I had this in my stash and um, so yeah she so Totally inspired Bobona. I will put her video down below in the description box. She did do a tutorial on how to do it. So it's so pretty. I just love it. So I went ahead and I did it to hold all of my conversation um, hearts that I had created through my silhouette. So um, I gave her a few and I just love it. And what I did is I stapled the Velcro onto the, because, you know, with time it will come off. The sticker will dry out. The stickiness will dry out and it'll just come off. So I staple it. So and then you'll cut you cover the staple with um 
with the embellishments. And so here's another embellishment I made. So I love it. Came out so cute. And then here in this envelope, um, I just used one of those envelopes that were being uh, clearanced out from Hobby Lobby. And um, I put an embellishment on top. And then I have one of those stickers from Hobby Lobby. So I kept one and I'm sharing one with her. So yeah, and I did the same thing. The same thing that I did in the front cover, I did it in the back cover, except that here it says kisses, which I need to add a little heart on the eye. So I'm going to add that after I'm done with the video. But I love how this came out. It came out so adorable. Um, this is my Galentine's binder mail for Luisa. If you don't know Luisa, I'm pretty sure you do. Um, do check her out. Um, in her YouTube channel, I will put her channel link down below, and um, it's getting dark, oh my goodness, so okay, and then let me go ahead and finish this up really quick, here is a charm that I made uh, for her, here, let me turn on the lights, because it got dark all of a sudden, oh, sorry, sorry guys, I have to move all this stuff around, okay, sorry about that, Alrighty. Yeah, okay. So it got dark all of a sudden. I just noticed it now. I'm looking at my I'm using my webcam so I can see I'm I have it connected to my computer so I can see myself when I'm recording. So okay, so here is the um, a charm that I made, a little dangle for the for her for the binder. And I've had this oh this is so soft. I've had this for such a long time. I just so happened to find it in one of my boxes when I was looking for something else. <laughs> Um, I can't remember if I bought this from AliExpress or from Wish. I can't remember, but um, it is so pretty. I just love it. So it has a little bow on top, a little fluffy ball, and then I added some charms. So I did have to add chain. So if you can see here, I added chain right here because it was too short. So I just added enough chain for it to hang over on the top and then for me to be able to clip it on so she can remove this if she wants and also everything is removable all the little charms are removable I just used um, jump rings so if she wants to remove it and use it on something else she could do that as well or if she wants to switch everything up and use beads instead she can do whatever she wants with it so here I added a little rose charm I added one of my charms that says XOXO I shared it in a project share I'll link that down below I found these lips cabochons um i have no idea where i got it from but i found it in my stash so i went ahead and added jump rings to that i added um heart pearl and then these bling hearts from my stash as well so i attached it all with jump rings so it came out really cute i just love how it looks and then um I went ahead and I decided to do a wand. So I made a wand for her. I love how it came out. Here's my wand. It is so pretty. So pretty. So I use my scraps. You know, I try to use my scraps for my embellishments and I use my scraps for my wand as well. And my wand is very simple. I did not use a die. This measures uh, five inches. Um, and I scored it at every quarter of an inch. So I scored at every quarter of an inch. And then um, I did another layer um, of a rosette, and I scored it at every half of an inch. And this rosette measures uh, four inches. So I had to cut it at uh, two inches. And so, yeah, so to make my five-inch rosette, I had to cut it at two and a half inches. And, um, and then I added some um, eyelash trim, you know, eyelash yarn in white and red and um added it in between the two rosettes just to give it more interest and just to break this blackness of um of the cardstock you know just to break it up and then on top i used this heart that was gifted to me by i believe it was by natalie a while back so in our swap so i went ahead and added it there i added again the felt word it says kiss and i used um stickles on it and then um, here's a berry spray. And then I added some uh, flowers. These are I Am Roses flowers. Here is a button from my stash as well. That's from Joann's. It comes, there's um, different buttons in, it's like three little packs in one. And one of the little packs have all, all of these little hearts and silver tone buttons. And then I used um, this skewer 
the skewer actually comes from one of these uh, puffy hearts from the Dollar Tree. I thought I had completely run out, but I found some on my table. So I just pulled out the skewer from this and added it here. And then I added some trim. So, you know, so a little bit of lace and pink ribbon. And yeah, so it came out so cute. I love it. So this is my project share for um, my final project share. And this is for Luisa. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating this. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.